people will be nominated by family and friends because they're just out of control on the roads. And so they're going into this kind of program to try and make them chill out on the road. It's very, here's a wee clip, it's very good. <laughs> And within a day, Linda is back to her old self. She can't stop raging, even in front of Denise, to the point where it's dangerous. Cut me up, why don't you? How about this, family? Linda is threatening to crash into other cars, gesturing at drivers and swearing as much as ever. What is he doing? I'm not a sorry, not a naughty. Lydia and Denise know something has to give. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> Anything to tell us, Kim? I that is me. That is me. <laughs> even when I'm a passenger in someone else's car. I don't even have to be behind the wheel. I can't stand it when someone's, you know, either trying to cut in or being a bit naughty. Even when it's my fault, I still do it. I can't help it. But do you, like, do the gesticulations, just swear your head I off? Do. I do. I wind the window down. I actually stop to wind the window down. I'll even follow people to tell them what I think of them. I can't let them get but away. But what is the and point? Because I have to have the last word. But it doesn't change anything. People still drive like maniacs. And you know the danger of you doing that. I mean, it's so serious. I've witnessed three incidents of serious road rage in the last weekend where people have been kicking other people's cars, getting out, threatening to beat each other. I'm just... It just scares the life out mm. of me. How do you know that the person that you're like, you know... Uh, 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 gesture gesture you know how do you know how do you know that person isn't the next nut is going to come out and, and lock well, you one and do like you to damage me that the nutter. <laughs> <laughs> i am the nutter but you, you don't i mean at that moment because I'm, I'm like you at that moment you know you, you're so angry you don't actually care but There's why do you get so angry just because, because someone a, can't drive properly well, look it might my incident right sitting at the in traffic for about an hour and a half waiting to get a um, set of traffic lights these guys come along with these big buckets saying, can we just, you know, wash your sort of windscreen? And my sister was in the car and we went, no, it's okay, no, no, we're fine, we're fine, really, we're fine. And he wouldn't listen. He took the whole bucket, threw dirty water all over our car. Oh. Absolutely, you know, I was so wild. We both got out of the car and chased him down the street. <laughs> we were well mad. But at yeah. that moment, I know it's stupid. I, I mean, I do regret it, you know, because you think, well, he could have been a psycho and had a knife in the bucket. I don't know. But at that moment, you, you just see rage. That's why it's called road rage. Well, worse still, yeah. someone nicks your car while you're running down the road. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I, that just but how it... do you manage to bottle it? Because, I mean, you are generally quite, not a volatile person, but I mean, you like a good argument and, and I like a good you know. shout. Yeah. So how do you manage to bottle it? Because I'm a total coward and I'm really <laughs> scared of people. You know, I just don't want to get my face punched in. <laughs> and I know I could see it happening, you know. And, and I've suffered some serious bad driving on motorways and it is quite difficult. And I do swear a lot under my, under my breath, but I never move my lips in case there are lip readers and they can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm really that scared. It scares the life out of me because you can see how... how Het up people get when they're driving. It's really serious, and I don't really know what the point of it is because it doesn't solve anything. I think you must enjoy it. I think you must get a kick out of it. I think I do a little bit. I think yeah. I do a bit. I, I do enjoy it. It releases the tension. You know, it's a stressful time driving and stuff, but. But you do it. What about you? Uh, no, no way am I like you. I mean, I'm not scared. I mean, I must admit, I wouldn't think about that. I mean, I never think that I'm going to get knifed, which I think you should, because, mm. I mean, there have been instances. When I'm on my bike, my pedal bike, <laughs> I mean, it happens quite a lot. And I'll just... Well... <laughs> <laughs> I'll gesture to people <laughs> like that. Sometimes I'll clench my fist. <laughs> Um, yes, but it, yeah. you think when you do that, I react think, oh to my it. God. I mean, I never initiate. I mean, if I see bad driving, I won't initiate in, in that. But I mean, if I'm on my bike and somebody cuts me up, yeah, yeah I'll be shouting at them. But it's a bit pathetic, really, isn't it? As they go off the BMW and I'm on my bike going. <laughs> <laughs> I value my life but, too much, seriously. Yeah, and no. also, you get those people who drive behind you too close on the motorway, and if you start to slow down just to annoy yeah. them, then they really get annoyed. And I do think oh. it's something the police should be a lot harder on. I mean, I know I they're not always going to be there when they see it but I mean it is just an excuse for foul behavior and you should stop it Kim Marsh. You okay. should be able to report people for it actually. Turn yourself in for local yes. police station. <laughs> right Again. we're heading for a break now. Join us in three when we'll be meeting Britain's answer to Carrie Bradshaw. Writer Liz Jones will be, share, will be revealing why sharing her sex in the city stories have landed her in a whole load of trouble. We'll be back soon.
Wednesday for these women. Still to come today, what's next for actress Samantha Giles since her dramatic exit from Where the Heart Is? She's going to be revealing later, uh, revealing later all on. <laughs> you you get the general gist. <laughs> now, Caroline, you and I have got emails because they're not getting them because they've been bad road raging. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's the penance. Um, this is from Dominique in Preston. She says... Dominique? That's a girl, isn't it? Yes. I hope it is. I was recently the victim of road rage. I must admit, I did make a mistake at the roundabout, but the torrent of abuse I got, I felt, was appalling. Everyone's human and everyone makes mistakes. Exactly. Which is quite true. Exactly. And we yes. don't allow for it anymore. So everyone stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh, God. Now, this one is a bit of a weird one for me because having said that everyone makes mistakes Led Woodhouse in Leeds it says road strain rage I'm a taxi driver in Leeds on a Saturday night in the town centre it's like an obstacle course trying to avoid the drunken student who seem to believe they own the road I have to say if I'm in my car and you get somebody you know who walks across the road with that kind of like that and looks at you as if Attitude. yeah what are you going to do about it the temptation to accelerate <laughs> is just not quite overwhelming I'm quite, quite with you on that actually. really close yeah. isn't it one of these days I'm going to do it yeah I've actually run practiced over, okay. I have actually practiced what I'm going to say in court <laughs> I believe you. <laughs> Sadly, it's true. Now, our first guest that's coming on is Liz Jones. Now, she's written this book. It's called Liz Jones' Diary. <clears throat> and it's basically, it's, uh, her columns are her courtship and her marriage to this guy who's much younger than her. She's kind of high-achieving, 30-something, slightly neurotic, I'm sure she won't mind me saying, a woman where he's kind of very laid back and quite happy to let her pay the bills. And the whole sense you get from it is that it's a fairly unsatisfactory relationship, but it's better than nothing. And that is a kind of familiar situation, isn't it? You're in a relationship, it ain't too good, but the thought of getting out and the thought of being single again or just doing the whole thing is just too much. You stick with it. I, I think so. I mean, I, I mean, me and the children's father, obviously, we, we get on, we, we're good friends now, but when we were together, I mean, we tried so many times for the sake of the kids, you know. I think there comes a time where you can do so much, so much, so much and try and talk and everything else, but if you just don't get on, you're screaming at each other all the time, then it's... But do you think that you tried longer than the relationship really warranted? I, I think we did. I think we tried extra long, to be honest. Mm. But uh, You have a duty to, though, if you have kids, don't you, really, to try yeah, and stick I, together for the sake of the I, children? I think so, but I think sometimes I think it is the truth that some women just kind of sit there and, and want someone to come home to at night and want mm. someone to mm. lie next to them in bed. And, well, that know, was like you, Carol, when you were married. You were that person, weren't you? Well, no, no. <laughs> no actually, well, I wasn't like that. But well, I do have to say, when I, I got married, it's different. It's different if you're just in a relationship. In a relationship, it's easy to just say, right, see, ya, I'm off. But if you if you 